How to get a construction FHA 203k rehab loan. So you finally stumbled upon the home you love, but you find that it is in a bad shape and would need a few improvements, the 203k loan could help. With an FHA 203k rehab loan, you could give your new home the TLC it needs without having to get an additional loan. This loan gives you all the funds you need to cover the purchase price as well as the renovation of the house. Getting a construction FHA 203k rehab loan isn't a long process but there are many things you should take note of if you're going for this loan type. While the single loan would save you a lot of work and planning, it comes with several limits which we are going to break down before diving into how to apply for the loan. What is an FHA 203k loan? An FHA construction loan allows you to finance the purchase of the house as well as the repairs and renovation the house needs. Homes that need a bit of TLC will come at a more affordable price and there would be less competition for them giving you all the freedom you need to bargain, however, if the home is too run down, you might not be approved for an FHA 203k rehab loan. The program is a great option to go for if you're on a tight budget and you want to buy a rundown home and renovate it rather than spending on a more expensive turnkey home. Types of FHA 203k loans there are two types of the 203k loan program. 1. Streamline 203k. The Streamline 203k loan is also known as the Limited 203k Mortgage. It is actually more popular with lenders but comes with a lot of restrictions. You will not be allowed to do a lot of structural repairs and the limit is set at $35,000. However, you need to keep your bid just below $30,500 to allow funds of up to $4,000 to $5,000 to cover costs like inspection fees, contingencies, and extra origination fees. If you get approved, you're likely to end up with around $31,000. Streamline 203K List of Allowable and Non-Allowable Repairs if you're looking for a 203K loan to fix up a home that is in severe disrepair then you need to look at the other option. This loan allows you to remodel a kitchen, add several amenities and appliances, but when it comes to luxury renovations like adding swimming pools, barbecue pits, outdoor fireplaces, and bathhouses, you won't be approved for your Streamline 203K loan. Acceptable Streamline 203K Repairs Appliance Replacement Roofs, Gutters, and Downspouts Vac, Plumbing and Electrical Upgrades or Replacements Disabled Persons Accessibility Modifications Lead-Based Paint Stabilization Termite Repairs and Mold Abatement Asbestos Removal Basement Finishing Remodeling Septic System Well Repair Flooring Excluding Subfloor Kitchen Bathroom Remodels Non-Acceptable Streamline 203K Repairs Satellite Dishes Tennis Courts Outdoor fireplaces Exterior saunas, hot tubs, spas Swimming pools Barbecue pits Bathhouses Dumbwaiters 2. Standard 203k Rehab Loan The Standard 203k Rehab Loan or Full 203k allows you to do whatever you want with the home. As a matter of fact, the home can be leveled and rebuilt, however, a portion of the existing foundation system must remain intact. There is no maximum repair limit on the loan as long as the entire loan does not exceed the FHA's maximum loan amount. FHA 203k Loan Requirements The FHA 203k loan has almost the same requirements as the main FHA loan. It is aimed at helping those who might not qualify for a mortgage from a private lender. 203k loan requires a credit score of 580 and above, however, some lenders might require that you have a higher credit score of at least 620 to qualify. You will be required to make a 3.5% down payment based on the purchase price and total cost of the repairs. You are allowed to make the down payment using gifts from family and friends as well as grants from organizations. You can borrow as much as 110% of the property's proposed future value. Your debt-to-income ratio should fit the FHA standards. You must plan to live in the home you're buying. If you're on the market for a home that you plan to fix and flip, the 203k loan isn't for you. The FHA 203k loan process. 
The FHA 203k loan process is a little different from a regular loan, but it is nothing you can do on your own. This breakdown below should help you get things in order. The buyer finds a home on the market that suits their needs but needs some repairs. The buyer consults a loan professional about getting approved for a 203k loan. The buyer can also go ahead to get search the market for a lender that offers 203k home improvement loans. When the buyer gets the pre-approval letter, they can move on to the next step. The buyer will find a contractor to provide an estimate of the materials needed and the work required. This should only be done by a professional, full-time builder except your one yourself. The contractor will work up a detailed bid and present the buyer and lender with a copy. The lender will order an appraisal that will reflect the future appraised value of the home with the improvement. This will determine what the home will be valued at after the renovation is complete. The bid, appraisal, and the buyer's information, income, credit, and asset documentation will be submitted to underwriting. The buyer and the contractor will provide the conditions to the underwriter who will issue an approval. When the buyer signs the final loan documents, the lender will fund the loan. Part of the loan amount will be put into an escrow account that holds the funds for the renovation. 50% of the renovation costs will be given to the contractor upfront and the other 50% to be paid when the contractor completes the work. The duration of the work is set at 6 months. When the work is done, any remaining repair costs will be given to the contractor. When the home is 100% complete, the escrow account is closed. FHA 203K Lenders There are tons of 203K lenders, however, there are some that offer better rates and requirements. Here are some of the best options you will come across. Fairway Independent Mortgage This lender has a high rating among customers, however, it is not suitable for borrowers with a low credit score. It has a minimum credit score of 640 though it has its minimum down payment set at 3.5%. Wintrust Mortgage For first-home buyers, Wintrust Mortgage could be a great option to consider. This lender is more flexible when it comes to its requirements especially in the area of credit scores, however, it also has a 3.5% down payment requirement. Caliber Home Loans This lender is the best shot for those with a low credit score. It is quite reliable though you might find some of its requirements and processes a bit strict. Its minimum credit score requirement of 580 and 3.5% minimum down payment make it a good option to settle for. Homebridge For those with a credit score of 550 and above, Homebridge offers a way to get approved for a 203k loan. There is also a 3.5% down payment but you should watch out for its other requirements before signing up with this lender. Flagstar Bank There are many things great about this lender but if you have a low credit score, you won't find this lender attractive in any way. Flagstar has its credit score limit set at 640 but you can also make a 3.5 down payment. FAQs Do you need a down payment on an FHA 203k loan? Yes. The 203k loan works just like the standard FHA loan so you will be required to put down 3.5% of the purchase price of the home plus repair costs. Can I make the repairs myself with an FHA 203k loan? In most cases, you will be required to have a qualified and licensed contractor do the work. However, if you're qualified to do so, your lender might agree to this. If you can prove that you are qualified to do the work, you would only need to finance the cost of the materials. How long do you have to live in the purchased house with a 203k loan? If you plan on renting it out or selling it, you must live in the house as your primary residence for at least 12 months. Do 203k loans require loan origination fees? Yes. The loan origination fees can also be higher as well as other charges like closing costs and the HUD consultant fee. The charges would depend on the size of the loan and the project.